Good morning, folks. We've got several space weather items to hit today. In fact, everything we'll hit today touches on space weather. Over the next 10 days, it's my annual summer family time, so videos may be sporadic, but I'll be watching and be around if anything major occurs. Let's go to the last 24 hours on our star. We had an M-class solar flare this morning. Remember that later today, a minor CME impact should occur and drive up geomagnetic unrest. There are sunspots and telemetry to review, so let's start by seeing that M-class solar flare this morning, which came from the southern spots just past central heliographic longitudes. If a CME was produced from it, it was certainly a minor one once again. The sunspots remain numerous, and as we saw this morning, even the smaller ones can flare. The big sunspot incoming on the south is magnetic plague activity behind it and perhaps some smaller spots, but so far it's been a lumbering, quiet giant. We'll keep eyes on that one for sure. The Enlil Spiral has updated to show another Earth-directed CME due to impact on Sunday, but I honestly don't see anything resembling a full halo ejection on the coronagraphs. Time will tell, I suppose. Either way, it would be minor, if anything. Remember that at some point towards the end of this month or into August, we expect the 5.9-month cycle uptick event, where the full power of the sunspot maximum should be seen for the first time. Unless, of course, the outlier forecasts are correct. Folks, most scientists predict this cycle will be about the same as last cycle, which is what we have now. But if a single peak maximum is coming, then we are indeed going to go well higher as this paper predicts and as a small minority of other scientists have predicted. This one predicts a maximum sunspot number of 185, which would make this a pretty strong cycle and would make the next two to three years quite exciting in addition to other adjectives. Time will tell on that one as well. Last but not least, the 2022 Starlink satellite failure was said to be due to the geomagnetic storm puffing up the atmosphere and causing extra drag. We had said that it was just as likely to be immediate electrical loss of the craft due to the solar storm. It appears the mainstream explanations are coming more and more under fire here, back then, in retrospect, and now more than ever as I read them saying here that the current explanations can't hack it, I think the solar storm instantly terminated those satellites. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the resources below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.